Everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and today I've got a review of Rothko's Tactical Extended Deployment Pack. This is one of the larger packs that Rothko offers, and I've really put it through its paces over the past few weeks. I've put about 25 miles worth of hiking into it, some climbing into it, a couple overnighters, and I've carried a lot of stuff and some really heavy weights with this backpack, and it stood up to it all, so I'm really excited to get to the review. Now, I'm going to add this in here because I know a lot of people are going to ask in the comments section, is that Vasquez Rocks? Is that the rocks that you see in the movies all the time? And yes, it is. That's where I do a lot of my testing. That's where I do a lot of my product reviews. And uh, this is where I actually did a lot of my hiking and climbing. You've seen these rocks in everything from the Flintstones, Bill and Ted's uh, Excellent Adventure. This is from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. It's been in Star Trek. It's been in so many movies countless westerns and it's really a, a popular place but it's also an open public place so if you're looking for a good place to hike in southern california definitely check out vasquez rocks uh, there you can see the scene from bill and ted's but a great place to do uh, a lot of product testing and reviews now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and get back to the review now one of the things i really liked about this backpack is its use of space there are so many spots on backpacks that i've done reviews on previously where I thought that they could have used that space for something more constructive. And this backpack really kind of knocks it out of the park and has become an all-star in that area because every panel, every back panel, every everything has a purpose and something that it can be used for other than just empty canvas. So that was a really nice thing. The other thing is comfort. Um, I wore this thing for a long time over several hikes in different weathers from hot and sunny to lightning and thunder, rain and storms. And I really found that even when you have this backpack on for extended periods of time, it stays comfortable. Now, I'm going to show you this backpack up close in just a little bit and show you guys the, the compartments and all the, the fancy stuff that it has going for it. But first, I just wanted to talk about you know my particular experience with it. Even after wearing it for a long time with, let's say, 45 pounds in the pack, a couple heavy flashlights, a really heavy survival knife, and a bunch of stuff that I had hanging off of it, I found that I didn't have any problem wearing it for those times. I didn't feel like I was getting any chafing in areas. I didn't feel like it was getting heavy in spots or that it was sliding to one side or another. And that's kind of one thing that I've had problems with with backpacks in the past. When I'm out and I'm doing some climbing, it sometimes feels like the backpack literally is going to fall off. But because this has really nice waist straps, sternum straps and everything, I, I could do climbing with it. I could go up. I could go downhill. I could uh, basically do whatever movements I want, reach over and tie my shoes, and I don't feel like I'm going to lose this backpack. It's extremely comfortable, and you can wear it for those extended periods of time, even with heavy weight on it. It has a, a plastic insert on it as well. It has hydration areas. It's got just about everything that you would want in an extended deployment pack. So it's got that uh, comfort. It's got the durability, 600D nylon uh, material. It's got that waterproofing on the, the inside of the outer portions of the backpack. And now we'll go ahead and we'll get into the actual uh, pockets and panels. And I'll show you what I was talking about when I said that everything has a purpose. Now, before we open up the pack, I wanted to show you something else that was really helpful. And that is these plastic rings that are, are around the pull tabs. So instead of having to reach and find the pull tab, these plastic rings are on every single pull tab. And they allow you to reach and kind of maneuver it easy, even if you have gloves on. I wear gloves a lot, so that's a, a really nice feature. Now, when you open up this compartment here, it's just, again, it's not just a big, empty, open compartment. There is a zippered, uh, nylon kind of uh, meshy material right there, so you can put stuff in it. Uh, another mesh material that has a Velcro closure. And then, obviously, you have the full open compartment itself. So you can see right there that both sides are useful. Uh, both sides are useful, plus you have the molly webbing on the outside. The molly webbing is on the, the top panel as well as that bottom area, and you have mo molly on the side as well. 
Also, on the very front of the pack, you have right here a large compartment that you could put pretty much anything. You could see that only opens from the one side. But again, that really nice pull tab and a large empty space that you can just use for stacking stuff in. And that's kind of what I used it for too. Any, any, any of my random stuff, things that I need to, need to access quickly, all those, those items went into the front compartment. Now we'll go ahead and we'll open up the secondary main compartment. And one of the things I really liked about this is the fact that it opens up completely. It's just not something that opens up from the top and you got to reach your hand in. Again, with the use of space, you can see that they have a mesh bag right here that you can use to load up a bunch of your stuff. And this is one of my favorite features. This is a kind of a hard-backed organizer. Um, it's strapped to the bag itself, but it has spots for your pens, for your pencils, for anything that you want to put in there that'll help you be organized. Uh, any type of writing material, and even has a couple pockets that are closed by Velcro. But a really cool organizer, again, that's hard-backed. And then behind that, you could put stuff because it has that uh, elastic band. And another bag behind that that even has a small carabiner-type hook behind it so you can put your keys on. Now, after all that, we'll finally get to the main compartment. And the main compartment actually opens up completely as well. From the bottom, it zips all the way around, and you can open it up all the way. Now, again, on the back of this panel, you have more mesh. So if you want to add some stuff in there, throw your socks in there, whatever you might want to keep dry and separate from everything, uh, you can do that there as well. And then look at the size of this large main compartment. It's huge. And inside there, you have a lot of different ways to hook things and secure things. Those are Velcro tabs you can use to secure stuff, plus a couple hooks or, uh, excuse me, clasps that you can use to kind of strap things down, including a firearm, but a huge main compartment. Now, this is all being held by some pretty comfortable straps. These straps have a sternum strap. They have a waist strap. They have really nice padding for your back. This is why I was saying it's so comfortable. This is also uh, got a mesh over it, so it helps it stay dry and keep you from sweating too much. And you can see that uh, it does have a spot for, for it to breathe on your back. Now, one of the things that I am uh, very critical about some other backpacks not having, when, especially when they say they're extended deployment, is not having an area for a water bladder. This has a huge area for a water bladder, and uh, you, I mean, you could probably put a three or four liter water bladder in there, no problem whatsoever, and then it has this spot on the top right there for your hose to run through, and then you could also, also run that kind of through the molly on the side of the straps that I've noticed, and, and have your hose secure, so that's pretty cool. They have this really nice large area in the very back away from everything that you could put your water bladder now, the reason I think also that this was the most comfortable is because it has this uh, removable plastic insert. It's not heavy, so it doesn't add any weight to the overall pack, but you can see right there that it does keep any of those sharp things away from you. Now, if you want to use those straps on the inside for a laptop, a computer, something that uh, might kind of poke you as you're leaning forward or walking, that plastic panel will keep those things from poking into you, you know, especially if you want to keep in there something that's a little bit sharp. Again, really nice waist straps, which is removable, really good lumbar support. Uh, the lumbar support stays even if you remove the waist strap. You can put that lumbar support back. It's got Velcro on both sides, so you don't have that bel Velcro kind of sitting in, in your back as well. So everything was really thought out well and designed well for, for long-term use. Now, right now, this backpack's going for $149.99 on Rothko's website. This is a serious pack. This is something that I think if you're somebody who's a prepper, if you have something that you want to use to bug out, if you want to keep something like this in your truck to get home, this is a serious pack for people who want to take it seriously. It will do just about anything you want. It's going to hold up to anything. It's a very nice backpack that I think is absolutely worth the investment. And when I say investment is because this is something that you're going to have long term down the road. It's not one of those, you know, cheap Facebook type backpacks that will work for a little bit until the stitching starts to come out and then you have to get something else. This is something that's going to last for a long time. So go over to Rothko.com. I'll put a link in the description box to where you can go directly to this backpack, but absolutely worth checking out. I put it through its paces. It held up really well. And I'm extremely happy with it. So thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.